This is the ninja. And, uh, what a great name. <laughs> this is the ninja for the Sega Master System. And this game is a bit of a mixed kettle of fish because, uh, it's really hard. <laughs> I mean, like, the difficulty goes from, like, a 1, and then it just fucking off the scale to a 100 in a matter of seconds, sending millions of enemies at you, throwing ninja stars at you, you have really nowhere to go, and the controls aren't 100% great. I pretty much summed up this whole game, and considering the graphical power of the Sega Master System, they could have done something quite nice with this. I mean, for example, Sonic the Hedgehog on the Master System is really nice, and this looks like a really early NES game. Don't get me wrong, I can find enjoyment in every game I play. Kind of. The music's kind of nice, I, I like the music, um, but I, I just like genuine 8-bit music anyway, because it's usually kind of... Um, groovy or awesome, I don't even know, it's usually quite good, and same with 16-bit music, I, I enjoy a lot of that. Um, this game is just, I'm not even 100% sure, and I can't put my finger on it, whether I like it or not, because, in fact, I'm just gonna let you hear the voice recording of when I was screencasting this, because obviously, oh, not screencasting, but when I was recording the footage for it, my, uh, when I die, by just getting totally owned when I said on that scale of 1 to 10, when it hits that 10 or over 100, this happened. Come on. Fuck! Shit! Why the fuck?! And because of the new YouTube, you know, sort of maturity rating, this video is probably gonna get either, you know, monetized or made for adults only, just because of that couple of seconds. Ah oh dear. But. The Ninja is extremely cheap to get a hold of. I bought this off eBay with the case, with the instructions. Basically, the game was complete. It may as well have still had the seal on the side because it was only three pounds and a pound shipping. It was not even expensive. And I can't say I hate the game because it's got some elements in it I like. I like these sort of like just, you know, top scrolling. It's kind of like a um, spaceship shooter, but with ninjas, I guess, in a sense. But, um, I like the idea of it, but the whole difficulty just goes out the window. It's just like, you know what? You're a good player. We're just going to totally take you down now, and you're never going to want to play this game again. That's kind of how I feel, but also there's the other half of me like, no, I'm not going to be beaten. So I may go back and play it. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm not going to recommend buying it, unless of course you just want to fill up your Sega Master System collection. Then I'd suggest buying it. But by god, this game will make you salty. Or just buy Truxton. What could possibly go wrong?